Hello everyone, if you want to know the challenges and difficulties faced by dermatologists in treating a very common condition acne, check out this video till the end. This is today's MCQ and pause the video and try to guess what is the answer. If you have marked the answer as gram-negative folliculitis, awesome, you have marked it right. So first, let us read the question carefully. A man aged 30 years presented with the following postular lesion. So there are some postular lesions as you can see here periorally and also perinasally there are some pustules he has been taking treatment for acne so in the question it is mentioned that he had acne for which doxycycline that is a tetracycline group of medication was started his other acne lesions like so papules comedones all of the other lesions after the initiation of doxycycline have subsided so this is what is mentioned but now the pustules which were previously not present they are developing new fresh so and also they were unresponsive to the medication that is doxycycline which was already being uh, administered so what is the most likely diagnosis for this condition so you should know a concept to understand what is the diagnosis in this condition and i am very happy that uh, avinash dr avinash dr mithul uh, hirani dr mansi and dr so almost all the students have marked the right answer and this is uh, mind you this is a previous year question asked in jipma so every possibility is there that this might be repeated so <clears throat> i am not going to tell you the classification of tetracycline but there is a problem with usage of tetracycline in the acne patients for long term so what can happen is if the patients of acne uh, are receiving not only acne any condition if they are receiving tetracycline group of medications for a prolonged periods of time then what will happen these group of drugs are going to target and damage and kill the gram positive organisms but what will happen is there is going to be an imbalance between the gram positive negative organisms colonization because of which in the anterior nares that is in the nostrils the gram negative organisms will become more and more in numbers and this is going to cause a condition which is going to manifest in the form of pustules which will be present most commonly around the nose that is the lesions are going to fan around the nose and obviously they are going to be pustules so this is what is called as a because there is proliferation of gram negative organisms it is gram negative folliculitis because these pustules will be usually follicle oriented so it is called as gram negative folliculitis so this is one of the problems faced by long term prolonged usage of the antibiotics and uh, very commonly it is tetracycline group of medications so what we need to do we obviously we should stop the medication uh, which you are giving that is tetracycline group of medications and we need to start administration of the isotretinoin in these patients and uh, there is one more question for all of you i hope all of you know that minocycline minocycline is one of the tetracycline group of medications which is used so can you tell me what is the what is the adverse effect with the usage of this minocycline for long term in acne patients? So I will give you a clue. The adverse effect will be seen most commonly in the acne scars. So please put your answer in the comment section if you know. And also regarding isotretinoin, one more question. So this is a very important drug of choice for grade 4 acne. That is which is the nodulocystic type of acne. And I hope you know the dose for dosage of this is 0.5 to 1 milligram per kilogram body weight daily. But you need to know one more numerical which is called as TCD which stands for total cumulative dose. And you need to know the value of this. This is also MCQ. So this is today's uh, next question. So please put your answer. What is the total cumulative dose for isotretinoin? Uh, if you know the value, please put it in the comment section. Of course, I hope all of you know that the adverse effect is xerosis and chelitis can occur and the most severe, most dreaded uh, complication which can occur is DISH, diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis and of course, teratogenicity. How can you forget teratogenicity? This is also important. So, because of this teratogenic uh, potential, we have to continue the barrier contraception for at least a period of one month after the discontinuation of the isotretinoin uh, but there is one more uh, drug acetretin which needs three years of uh, uh, you know uh, continuation of the uh, contraceptive measures